All right, this is our test video. This is system, our, our quote, 1611. Our power hooked up into it right there. This is your on switches. You want to go auto on both the SVE blower and the transfer pump, so we'll do that now. We're simulating um, water coming into the system with a hose going in from a, a water tank that's over there, and we'll simulate vacuum by putting boards around this so it'll have some suction. Test the transfer pump when the water level comes up in this sight glass, it'll come up to about here, and that's when the pump should shut off and should uh, pump the tank down. So we'll wait for that to happen. And um, All right, you can see the water level rising. Once it gets up to this low, the pump should turn on. We're going to have to. Um, Prime the pump, which basically this, this screw on the pump right here has to be loosened to let the air out of the pump. our high-level alarm test. We're drawing water into the system. We have the transfer pump not turned on though, so the water should go past this float, and then once it hits the second float, it shuts the system off as a safety in case the transfer pump were to fail or something like that. And this is your alarm light here that says overflow. Yeah, we'll to, to, uh, if you're able to drain the tank down, if this something like this ever happens, what you'll want to do is turn the SVE off, turn the transfer pump in hand, and let it pump down past this float. And once it gets down past this float, you should be able to reset the alarm condition and it'll begin to pump down. Go ahead and turn that off, but turn the transfer pump off. Here's what we'll do. We'll turn um, both of these in auto, which they won't come on, until you hit the reset and now it's back on. We'll watch the pump pump down. Our discharge hose coming over to the tank where you can see the pump pumping out. And that's basically it for our wet test. Now we're checking our power. Volt is about 207, 208, which is what we have here. So amp readings are going to be a little bit higher than if you had true 230 volt. This is going to be our uh, vacuum test on the unit. We'll show the inrush amps are at zero right now. Go ahead. So about six amps with no load. Uh, this is our vacuum test. We've got the unit at about six, seven inches of mercury. We're about an eight plate on the amp. About a little over 13 amps because our voltage is a bit low. And where we're looking to 